Hey guys, Riolu here. Having a last a couple of last, you know, the last couple of days have been really tough. Um, many of you know that I'm a professional wrestling fan. My mom's dad got me back, got me into it back in the uh, the early '80s. With the old WWF, uh, WCW, NWA, before it became WCW. So, it's been pretty rough on me uh, hearing of the passing of uh, the legendary funk just by that, okay? And they turn around last night and tell us that uh, Wyndham Rotunda, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt, dude was one of my favorites, passed. Never got to meet the man. Would have loved to. Uh, A lot of people are going off on favorite moments and stuff like that. So maybe, uh, you know, talking about some of Wyndham's, my, my favorite memories of Wyndham Rotunda would help. Uh, the debut of the Wyatt family. Loved it. Harper, Rowan, and Bray. Dude was superb on the mic. Brody Lee is Luke Harper. Oh, Brody Lee, aka John Huber. Back when he was alive, it was great. Eric Redbeard, a.k.a. Rowan, good guy. All three of them together, that was dynamite. Their feuds with uh, The Shield, Dusty Rhodes and his sons. Oh, or was that the shield? I don't remember which, but either way. Uh, and then uh, when they decided to go ahead and end the Wyatt family and start on his singles. Sure, not that great. Then uh, they put him in a, car, uh, a feud with Matt Hardy. And later on, uh, him and Matt became uh, Rob Brand Tag Team Champions. Then uh, things kind of fell to the wayside when Matt's contract, you know, was up. And they just didn't have anything creatively for him, so they let him go. You know, before Vince got in trouble there. Uh, it's been quite some time. If you ever get a moment, uh, look up why it's promo from when he came back right after Extreme Rules. Uh, when he told the fans just how he felt about them. Uh, it was very heartwarming. I, for one, when I watched it, was like, thank you, Bray. Uh, in case you're wondering why is why his real name, Wyndham Rotunda, sounds so familiar. His father... Captain Mike Rotunda, a.k.a. Erwin R. Scheister, the former tag team with uh, who tag teamed with Ted DiBiase back in the 80s, Money, Inc. And if I remember correctly, his grandfather, Barry Wyndham. So far, they even gave, gave him the Wyndham first name. Uh, I know that there is a video out there of just just the day the day before he passed. Uh, he wanted to let people know he was okay, but it was more to bring light to something that happened to his grandpa, you know, Barry Windham. He uh, suffered a cardiac episode. And was, Basically, without a pulse for 10 to 20 minutes, 
And there was this one fellow that just worked on him for 10 to 20 minutes before the paramedics and stuff arrived. They got him back. Uh, Wyndham's sister set up a GoFundMe in Barry Wyndham's name to go ahead and repay the man for all he had done for their family. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm I'm at a loss. Uh Tonight's episode of SmackDown, they've already scrapped most of the most of the uh, storyline they had planned for tonight so that they could go ahead and make a tribute episode. Uh, it is also rumored that Roman Reigns is going to break character tonight to talk about Wyndham. I know quite a few other uh, individuals have already posted videos about this. Uh, Most notably in my head, Matt Hardy himself. uh, AEW's Miro, a.k.a. WWE's Rusev. Now, I saw that one this morning. That was a tearjerker. I'm sitting outside... uh, my workplace here getting ready to pick up little Lucario. He's got a, uh, he's got a huge matchup tonight, uh, which I'm going to film. I don't know if we're going to put it on the channel or not. Uh, it, some of you may have seen it in, uh, the streams that, uh, our boss, Christopher Mallard challenged him to a best of three commander duel. And I spent the greater portion of yesterday prior to the announcement of Wyndham Rotunda passing, training my son, which I guarantee you Mike Rotunda had a hand in training Wyndham. So it's, it's even more of a, just a, a right in the heart. You'll have the. Well, anyway, uh, like I said, no streams this weekend. Uh, you get a chance to check out the Stink Meaner uh, Bone Necro that I put up earlier. Uh, other than that, that's all I got right now. Uh, this one will be filed under porch talk, even though I'm in my car. <laughs> so, uh, this one, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do some shout out dedications here. Uh, like I said, me being a fan of professional wrestling, this one's going out to Mick Foley. Bang, bang. I know you were a good friend to Terry Funk. Uh, Nature Boy Ric Flair, I know you and Terry Funk were pretty close. You guys' feuds over the NWA title were just phenomenal to watch. Uh, the Rhodes family. Uh, I know Dustin has said something about being like an uncle to... Uh, Wyndham and his brother, Bo Dallas. Uh, Bray's wife, I don't know if they were ex-wife or ex-husband, whatnot, but uh, former ring announcer JoJo and their four kids. This one's going out to you guys. Uh, your dad, your dad slash husband, hell of a, per- a personality on him. He will be missed. Uh, the Huber family, you're you're in my thoughts and prayers on this one as well. And uh, not many people mentioning Eric Redbeard, but I'm going to mention him in this shout out. I know you guys, you, you three were close. You guys vacationed with your families from what I understand on a couple of different, different occasions. Uh, I know uh, back when you guys feuded with uh, Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. Roman, 
you guys all got close and Like I said, he, he's going to be missed. I, for one, I wasn't in a dark place when Bray came back and did that promo about how the fans helped him get through what he was going through. But uh, his words were very inspirational to me to the point where well, I helped other people get through their dark times. So, in closing, I just want to say, hug your loved ones. Be they actually blood or, you know, acquaintances you meet along the way, because you never know. You never know. To those of you that are subscribers to my channel, again, thank you. For your understanding. I know it took a long time before I had a chance to get back on. And do streams. But I never forgot about you guys. And if I had a list of all 47 of you right here in front of me. Y'all would be getting a shout out. So I'm going to go in with some of the more. You know. Vocal ones that have been on stream lately. Being. Christopher Mallard, you know, my boss. Teacher Mook, a.k.a. Cobra. Uh, of course, I, I have to say, little cario, man. Love you. It ain't just because you're my kid. Okay. So, uh. Try to have yourselves a nice day.